this video we're going to cover how to access and post your error log. It's pretty simple, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is open up to your OSBuddy directory. And again, if you don't know how to get to it, you can just click the OSBuddy directory link in your client. Now you should see something similar to this. You won't see as many things here as there are a bunch of testing stuff here, but basically you should be going to the OSBuddy folder in your home directory. And then you should see a logs folder. Now you should see different files here. The file we want to basically worry about is the client errors file. So this will end with a um, dot log extension instead of a dot txt. It's the same thing as a text file. It's just named differently. So when you open it up, you'll see a bunch of information here. Uh, the first line will always be your um, system information, such as the OSBuddy version, your operating system name and architecture, your Java version, uh, how many CPU cores you have, um, your memory allocation, and the CPU information. What this does is it tells, uh, tells us various information, so when we need to help you debug something, uh, we can notice certain things right away, like if you have a like a dual core AMD processor, we'll be able to see that right away, um, which is the older processor is slightly slower, so you might need to disable a few things. Um, if your Java version is out of date, like mine is here, we'll be able to see that. Then below that, you'll see various output messages. Uh, not all these are errors. These are just debug messages. Um, anything that has a debug or an info next to it will just be informative information. But anything with a warn or an error message um, thing right here will just be an error. You really don't need to know that. It's just so you're aware of what's in here. Um, so in order to post on the forms, you can just simply copy and paste this into a post. Or if it's too long, you can open up a service like Pastebin and paste the contents here. Um, I would just make it unlisted because that's the way I would do it normally. And then it might ask you to enter in the little code just to prevent bots from doing this. And then all you gotta do is just link us to this Pastebin link up here and we'll be able to access it just as well. So uh, that's it for posting your error logs. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask on our support forums and we will help you out.